All right, let's take off. Hey guys, Tommy Jordan here. Today we're looking at the Eashin, and uh, this is a 1080p drone, and it came with two batteries, so uh, one, two, and um, it's a foldable drone. Now, it also came with drone guards for protecting it, but the problem with the drone guards that I saw is they have to be screwed in, and once you put those drone guards in, you can't fold the drone up anymore. Uh, as you can see here, it folds up very nicely though. I love how it looks beautiful. It's got a nice rubbery matte feeling. Look at this, I've never seen this before. Directions on the controller are telling you everything you need to have. Here you have your take your photos, your um, video, your speed adjustment and circle mode. It's all right here, it tells you everything. This is a spring loaded SD card. So, uh, but if you have a good crash, that SD card could possibly come out. And so to keep that from happening, to safeguard any possibility of that, I put some tape on top. The, if you look here closely, that camera is really nice. It's got a very nice camera. That's a high quality camera, it's 1080p. And um, I'm just really impressed at how nice the camera is. So the battery inserts, just that simple, it does lock into place. And now I'm gonna turn the remote on. And I'm gonna turn on the drone. And so what I'm wondering now is, will we see it search for the satellite or how long does it take to find that satellite? So we see it, uh, it looks like it's already linked up, probably already found the satellites. Um, there, let's see here. It says it automatically looks for the satellite. Um, I did the calibration already. Okay, I guess that means that it found the satellite. So there you go, we heard that little beep just now. And I'm gonna hit the calibration button. Okay, and we see it's blinking. So now I'm gonna turn it uh, counterclockwise. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and that was all it needed. That's happy. And then uh, we're gonna count, we're gonna turn it clockwise with the camera facing up. So we're gonna turn it clockwise. One, two, three, four. Okay, there you go. All right, so that's, I believe that's all I had to do there. All right, let's unlock the drone by pushing the left and right joystick so we can go down to the sides like this. And there you go. All right, we can turn it off. Okay, good deal. All right, now let's go ahead and try to take it off. Okay, that's got some serious power. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay, there you go. All righty, let's see how it does. That is pretty darn... Um, that is really responsive. Look at that, it's flying nicely there. All right, so that's probably, I don't know what level that is. Let's see what that level that is here. There's level two, and there's level three. Let's try three. Mm -hmm. Way faster. Level three is a lot faster. So I really like those lights. Those are really nice. And uh, let's go ahead and try the uh, takeoff. I gotta tell you, level three is quick. Wow, look at that. And I like how it stays uh, nice and steady on the field. Look at that, it's just staying nice and steady. Here it comes. All right, that is very easy to fly. I like this. Put the level one though again. Come on back here. Very aggressive, it's a very aggressive flyer I'm noticing though. All right, and bring it down, hit the button. All right, so that was the auto land button there. Let's go ahead and try the auto takeoff. Okay. All right, uh, well it didn't take off, maybe I have to, oh, I have to do this. There we go, we have to get the blade spinning. So we see that one blade's giving me a problem. Okay, let's go ahead and adjust this, make sure it's working good. So every now and then, check your legs, make sure they're all extended out correctly. Alrighty here, and let's see here, let's try again. Okay, okay so we got this one's gonna be a problem. Let's try it one more time. There we go, that's smooth. So I just move it around a few times. All right, let's take off.
and land. All right, so there's the landing. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and try videotaping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the uh, video button right here and I'm gonna videotape myself. So I got the camera thing in. All right, and there's no, there's nothing flashing to tell me it's recording. So I'm guessing it's recording. And we heard that beep, so I guess that meant it knew. Let's hit it again and fly over myself. Yeah. All right, let's come on back down. Let's take a picture of myself. I'm gonna stop recording. Okay, and take a picture. I hope it took my picture. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and bring it back. And what I'm gonna do now is, okay, so it lands really nicely. I like how it lands. Uh, I think it lands better manual than it does using the uh, takeoff. There is an emergency stop button, so let's go ahead and try that. Okay. Let's say you're flying and you have to stop suddenly, hit the button. Okay, it didn't work. Let me hold, I guess you have to hold it down. There you go, and it just comes in for landing. Very nice. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and find the drone. So I'm gonna go to my Wi-Fi. See, it says uh, Wi-Fi 1080p. So that's it, hit that. Okay, so the app is called Eashin GPS. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. I connected, and uh, is the aircraft magnometer calibrated? Uh, it is, but let's go ahead and hit no anyway and, and uh, see what it does. Calibration starts. Uh, okay, yeah, it looks like, yeah, I already did that. So, but that's nice. It tells you how to do it on the screen. So that's really nice. Okay. Let's see. Your location service is closed. GPS signal is normal. Ready for takeoff. Good deal. All right. Hit play. All right. So there, okay, there we go. And we can see the camera and I can adjust the camera with the uh, controller. There we go. And let's see if it re records, if I hit record. GPS signal is normal. Ready to take off. I don't know if it's recording or not though. Let's see here. So uh, there's the video record button. Looks like, I guess maybe, okay. So once the app is turned on, you probably have to hit the uh, app. That's very simple though. Very nice. And we have all of our features the, right here. You hit this and I can see the self stabilizing waypoints follow. That's really cool. Let's go ahead and try orbit mode. I haven't tried orbit mode. Something I'll taunt point out guys this phone my phone is really large for the controller and so uh, if I put it in the uh, controller like it's supposed to it actually will turn the phone off uh, let's go ahead and try flying with the um okay so I'm gonna turn it off okay let's go and try that again let's go and just take off okay there you go, that's better, that's smooth. So uh, this one's having issues here. Let's try waypoints, let's see how waypoints works. Oh, that's nice, it actually has me here, it looks like. That's kind of cool. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in, see where I'm at. There I am. Well, that's neat, look at that, it actually sees where I'm at. Oh, that's different, okay. So I think for waypoints, the way waypoints works is you kind of, you just kind of choose where you want to fly. So you hit this part here, and you just kind of hit that. And let's do so supposedly you're supposed to hit your points. I oh, will try that one. All right, I got my two points. Good. Uh, it's going to go to a height of 65 feet. And uh, let's give it a try. All right. Um, waypoint two. Good. So let's go ahead and start. To start, I don't know how to start. How you just. Start, right? Let's go ahead and see what happens. Take off. And, oh no, I don't want that. It's, it's, uh, it, that's not what I wanted. Uh-uh, no, 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 cancel that. Uh, that's not what I want. But it looks like you can do waypoints and it'll go to these points here. Uh, however, I don't want it to go flying across the street into another person's house. So I can adjust the speed to five miles per hour. I can adjust the height, that's nice, to 30 feet. And uh, it's, this is actually not a bad app. It's very simple to use. Let me zoom in again though. And outside it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like it does work. So that, that's a good thing. I'm just having a hard time seeing where I'm at. Uh, I have never been a fan of waypoints myself because I've never been able to do it. So uh, if I can do this, I'll be impressed. Oh, come on. So, set the waypoints by continuous line drawing. So, looks here, you hit this, 
hit that, and then you draw. But I need to zoom in more. Where am I at? I don't even know if this is where I'm at. I'm not sure if it's correct. It's, it's correct. It looks like it's right. But I'm having a difficult time seeing where I'm at. Okay. Hit this. Hit this. And it says you draw. But the problem is I'm not able to draw. It's not let, It's moving the screen around. If I hit this one, I'm able to hit the points. But I'm unable to identify exactly where I'm at. So maybe if I'm in a different field. Uh, but I'm not going to try to weigh points right now because I'm not... Okay, I guess I can try that. Um, worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, I'll just stop the drum, right? All right, waypoint there. And how do you start it? So once you've set it, um, oh, send. Okay, so waypoints, hit send. All right. All right, and... Um, Okay, so I'm not gonna do waypoints here because I'm not too sure where I'm at exactly on my map. And I don't want this drone to go flying somewhere that I don't want to fly. So I'm not gonna do waypoints now, but we see it does work. And um, for that, I'll have to go to a bigger field. Let's go ahead and try the orbit mode though. Go back, start up. We're also gonna do return home as well. Okay, so um, let's try orbit mode which is this button right here. There it is, going up. Don't know why. Okay, it's turning around. And it's, I don't know if that's orbit mode or what. Okay. That's not what I want. Why aren't you following my directions? Looks like it's doing waypoints. All right, that's doing the waypoints. All right. Uh, that's the waypoints it's doing. Huh. Okay. I don't understand what I'm doing. It is fly nice and precise though. Okay. I really didn't want to get a high up. It is nice and stable. I like how it's nice and stable. Yeah, that's nice. Very, very stable. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. All right, let's go out to the field and try the orbit mode. Oh, all right, sorry. Let's see this orbit mode. And it goes up and it's turning and see what it does. So it's going that way. And my understanding is that it's supposed to use your phone to identify where you're at. Okay, and uh, here we go. So I hit orbit mode. And I think with orbit, the way it works is um, you tell it the direction it wants to go and it starts going that direction. So you'll notice I just hit this direction and now it's gonna go in orbit mode around me. There you go, so that's orbit mode. All right, so it's orbiting me right now. That's kind of neat. That's really cool. Now, if you look here on my phone, I've lost signal from the drone. So I'm not able to see uh, what's happening. But it could be my phone, honestly. It's probably not the drone, it's probably my phone. Let's go ahead and bring that in. The orbit mode definitely works. All right, so here's headless mode. Notice when I go away from myself or towards myself, it comes towards me. Regardless of the direction of the drone, it will come in that direction with headless mode. And uh, headless mode works really, really well, actually. To turn off headless mode, press down the throttle. And there we go, now it's off. 